In Kenya's Orpage to Conservancy, a group of vultures is enjoying a feast. But scenes like this are getting scarcer, and the danger to these scavengers is often lying in their food. Dr. Darcy Ogada is Assistant Director of Programs at conservation group The Peregrine Fund. Well, the biggest threat to vultures is poisoning, and that is generally not targeted at the vultures. It's actually targeted at carnivores, mostly lions, hyenas, uh, leopards as well, because the carnivores are actually occasionally killing livestock. When farmers lace carcasses with pesticides, it's often vultures and other birds of prey that are first at the scene. Several dozen birds can die in a single poisoning, and it takes decades for the population to recover due to their long lives and slow breeding patterns. You're talking many um, generations, many years before you're going to get those birds back. Four of the eight vulture species in Kenya are critically endangered. Dr. Ogada says the population of one of those species, the hooded vulture, has plunged by nearly 90% in Kenya over the past 45 years. In response, Peregrine Fund offers training in pastoral communities. But program manager Martin Adino says it's not just a case of telling farmers to stop poisoning. Uh, we offer a kind of uh, simple solution to this whereby very cheaply we also train communities to, to build predator-proof shelters for their livestock. The project is focused on conservancies in Kenya's Laikipia and Samburu regions, home to globally significant populations of lion, black rhino, elephant and gravy zebra. The Idaho-based charity says those species are also put at risk if the numbers of one of Africa's top scavengers dwindle due to the knock-on impact that has on the wider ecosystem.